shoots twice during the four ends, so each team shoots a total of six arrows per end, 24 altogether for the match, and the team with the highest total score is your winner. We begin with the women's team bronze medal match featuring France versus Great Britain. The world record in this event, 236 points by Team USA. That was in Ogden, Utah, back on August the 4th of 2011. Coming out first, the team from France. And we'll check out their lineup in just a moment. They'll be taking on Great Britain here on Bellic Beach on a beautiful morning. And I'm going to go out on a limb and say, with this breeze, we're probably not going to see any world records. But you never know. You never know. We will see. France defeated Venezuela, won a tiebreaker with Korea in the quarterfinals, and then dropped a five-point decision to the Dutch. Meanwhile, Great Britain defeated Mexico, Canada in the quarterfinals, and then got literally blown away by Colombia in the semifinals. Actually, what we're looking at right now is the team from Great Britain, and they'll be on target number two. The lineup for Great Britain this morning, Ricky Bingham, Danielle Brown, and Andrea Gales, who's been around this game for a long, long time. So a tough, strong, experienced lineup, particularly with Danielle Brown and Andrea Gales. Yeah, so Great Britain. Daniel, here. Daniel winning that uh, gold medal in the Paralympics. You know she has experience, not afraid of much. Like I say, Andrea's been around forever. Now we'll take a look at the team from France. France once again defeating Venezuela this week, then winning a tiebreaker with Korea in the quarterfinals. That was a huge win. And then they dropped a five-point decision to the team from the Netherlands. The lineup for France this morning, Sophie Dodemont, Pascal Lebec <laughs> and Sandrine Van Dionon. And, and as for a bunch there, they're pretty experienced. I mean, Pascal's uh, uh, Sandrine's been around and won World Cups around the world before, so I would say their experience is probably pretty even. So they'll come out this morning and they'll test the wins first and find out how much of an adjustment they'll have to make from the field that was used during the week for the elimination and qualifying, and this finals field here on Belek Beach. Target number one, the team from France. Target number two, the team from Great Britain. Now this would be the first world championship compound team medal in the history of British archery should the team from Great Britain be able to come away with a victory. And this is a good look at Danielle Brown, one of the most compelling archers in this sport, the defending Paralympic champion and three-time world champion. She's also the first para archer to ever compete in a World Cup final and she will lead off in this opening match. And we'll see what we see from the difference in the wind on the practice field to up here really quick because it seemed to be a little less breezy down here than it was up there. Ten at nine. So, so the opening volley is a nine from Danielle Brown. Didn't seem to make much difference being just a hair left compared bon. to what she was up there. The bon fish. Andrea Gales. Ten. 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 Back to back tens to start it off. Allez, Sophie, on se prépare. Bien souple devant et du prolongement. And this is Ricky Bingham, 30 years young. And she was on the women's team that took ninth place in Torino two years ago at the World Championships. Nine. She'll start off with a nine, but great Britain Allez, shows they mean business right off the uh, get-go. Yeah, coming from, like I said, from that practice field over here and start with 10, 10, 9. And, oh, yeah, which is, we've had misses all week. It really looks really Allez, good. So now France. Sophie Dodemont with an eight. A little more left. Like I said, the first, everybody started off a little left because like I said, I think up on that field up there, it's a little more windy left to right. So coming over here with less wind, it's going to put the arrows out a little left. Sandrine Van Dionon, who started out shooting compound, switched from compound to recurve, and then came back to compound. She shoots an eight as well. So a little bit slower start out of the gates for France. Yeah. They really need Pascal Lebec to come up with a good score right here. Yeah, and she does. She does. 
Well what done for Pascal yeah. Lebec. Gives you a good breath, though. I mean, it's like I said, Great Britain's got to be going, man, we walked over here. And the nerves of not knowing where you're going to hit your first arrows and a walk off a three point lead is a good feeling. Eight, eight, ten. Yeah, Daniel gives him a little back. So now it's up to seconds. Andrea Gales to try to pick up and regain some of those points. A 10 right here would certainly do that after the eight by her teammate, Danielle Brown. And there is another eight. 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 Crazy how archery can be a really balanced. You, you give some and you get some back. And it changes from one shot to the next. It does that. Take nothing for granted Yeah. in this sport. Oh, there's a 10, beautiful shot. Well done by Ricky Bingham. And the wind seems to be changing down there a little bit too. I mean, we're going from a, a left to right with the flags behind now going right to left. Sophie Dondemont. See how she picks it up. Oh, there's a 10 again. Won a team bronze medal in the 2008 Olympics, but that was when she was shooting recurve. Now she's shooting compound. That's another eight. Yeah, it's a different game for sure. From the left side, Sandrine Van Dionon. Dead center, right down the middle. Way to pick up your teammate. I mean, you, you know, you feel that's where she shot two eights, and for you to back it up with a 10. Gives them a little less stress, but not a lot. Another bullseye right here, and they're only down by one after the first yes. end. Yes, and there it is. Plus, yeah. uh, back with a pair of bullseyes in this opening end here in the women's team's bronze medal match at the World Championships in Belik. No. Antalya no. Turkey, Carl Arki along with Rio Wild on what is a Saturday morning here on the southern Turkish coast. Not sure if it's Friday night or. Friday afternoon, wherever you are. Perhaps it is Saturday morning, wherever you happen to be, but we're glad to have you with us. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful conditions. Temperature is about 60 degrees or so Fahrenheit. Not sure what that converts to Celsius, but uh, I'm sure somebody out there can make that conversion. It's comfortable, though, and the breezes have died down just a little bit. It's considerably less over here than it was at the field of the water, I mean. These guys are holding red. I mean, guys were excited to hold blue over on the other field, and so. You were just kind of uh, letting it go and praying, weren't you? Oh, well, there was times that I was hoping it would stick in the bail so I wasn't in the back grass looking for it. <laughs> there's the wind sock, give you some idea of the winds here. And there's the score, 55-54 in favor of Great Britain. And Great Britain off to a good start. Great Britain in that first end. Three of the six shots in the center ring. Meanwhile, France also had three bullseyes, but they also shot three eights. The difference right now a nine. That was recorded by Pascal Lebec on the third shot of the first end. So we get set for end number two. They'll shoot four ends. Each archer, two shots per end. Total of 24 arrows per team. Hi, Sophie. And Sophie Dondemont, who is that rare compound archer who does have an Olympic medal. Yes, it's good. Still, still, still. She bien. did shoot recurve before converting to compound. Nickel, là, and a nice bien. shot for Great Britain, or for France, I should ouais, say, ouais, ouais. to start things off. Yeah, and this match, usually, the team matches seem to go really fast because you only shoot a total of eight arrows. So as an individual, you're like, ooh, this is quick. And so each one of these means a little yeah, more. Really to on the line, it's going to that. probably be scored a nine. No asterisk. So here's Pascal Lebec, who won a mixed team gold medal at the World Cup final in Paris two weeks ago today. Right, right on target. So you ask for your anchor at least to pick up the other two if they're having problems, and that she seems to be doing that really well. So France puts some pressure on Great Britain. The Brits with a one point lead after the first end, the first six arrows, and Danielle Brown right down the middle. Yeah. That is, I think, one of the most underestimated things on a team event. If your sh starting shooter can shoot really well, man, it takes a lot of pressure off them next two to go up and make good shots. Now Andrea Gales 
who went head to head with Bandy Onant in the gold medal final in Las Vegas at this year's Indoor World Cup Finals. And she beat her seven to three, trying to defeat her again today here in team competition at the World Championships. Ricky Bingham. High with that shot. His friends a two point lead at this point. I mean, it's going back and forth. It's, but this Allez, Sophie. Could, could, back and forth. Allez, Sophie. It could really spread out, I think. Sophie Dodemont. Yeah, I mean, in the nine ring. Yeah, I mean, this week out of there on the field, the I saw more leads of 30 points 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 than I've ever seen in my life. Allez, bien fort dans le mur, hein. We saw an amazing score of 88 to 79 yeah. to decide a match. And an yeah, important yeah, match. Yeah, one of the guys back yeah. home texted another guy and he said they had averaged a five point something. Allez, no average, which Daron, much means if you kept it on the bail, you're going to win and end up in the gold medal match. <laughs> See, it's an easy game, Riel. Yeah, easy. <laughs> Just hit the target. Yeah. Well, oh, she hit the target all right. Pascal Lebec with a bullseye. She's still staying clean. So after the first two ends, France with a score of 110 points. And the Brits right now need three bullseyes. And they get the first one there to try to tie this up. Danielle Brown shooting strong. Now Andrea Gales, who finished 17th in Torino two years ago. She takes the spider out. Right? It's a great right? shot. X marks the spot for Andrea Gales. 25 seconds. Trying to show the way for Ricky Bingham, who is going after her second medal, but the eight leaves Great Britain two points behind at the midway point of this match. Yeah. I would say just looking at the two teams, the Great Britain team looks a little more uh, serious. The French team looks a little more relaxed. They giggle and laugh with each other. And you know anything from a lot of sports, it's always just a little bit of a game. I've got to think for Pascal Lebec, 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 especially after what she experienced two weeks ago. That had to be thrilling, but it also had to be a pressurized situation competing in Paris in her home country in the shadow of La Torre Eiffel. And while it was a great time and they came through and won the mixed team gold medal, this has got to be a little bit more relaxing to be here on the beach. Oh, 100%. In your home country, I like said we talked about that when we were in Paris. But, uh, I mean, P.J. Deloche had 40 friends there. I mean, it's, it, it adds a different element in a whole bunch. And so to be here and just relax and shoot. Maybe you got some friends at home watching on TV, but you don't know. It's a lot more relaxing. And you don't want to let your friends and family down there to come and travel to pay good money to come watch you do it. <laughs> and you don't want to be thinking about that when you're on the line up there, shooting, drawing it back, and trying to figure out where you're going to shoot that thing. Yeah, and this sport is so mental, so much mental. It is a huge mental game. And so to have everything as little as you can think about, that's a great, great advantage. The crowd enjoying the sunshine and the gentle breezes here on Bellic Beach on a Saturday morning in October. World Championships. It all began, as we said, back in 1931 and has been going on for eight decades now. And here is Danielle Brown, who suffers from reflex sympathetic dystrophy. It affects her feet but she has long been able to compete against able-bodied archers and compete very, very well. Oh, she's, I've watched her win a lot of tournaments against able-bodied archers. It's part of the beauty of this sport. Yeah, that's it. We're, in my honest opinion, there's only one sport that we've ever seen or allowed to, to deal with and adapt with their kind of disabilities, and so it's kind of a neat thing. 30 seconds. So after the nine by Danielle Brown and eight by Andrea Gales, and they need a big shot from Ricky Bingham right here to stay in contention. Third end of the women's team bronze medal match here at the World Championships. A huge okay. shot by Ricky Bingham. Yeah, it's, that's a great pickup. Because you were a little bit behind, and now you're, you, know, you don't want to get on too big a slope of giving them too big a lead going to the last end because we all know when you walk into that last inning, you know whether you feel like you have a legitimate shot or not. The very experienced Sophie Dudemont, who also competed in Paris at the World Cup final two weeks ago, 
She starts allez, off with allez, a nine. Allez. Van Dionov, who captured a World Cup bronze in Croatia and a gold medal in Ogden on the World Cup circuit back in 2010. She's got two medals yes. and she's got okay. another bullseye. She strikes gold. Yeah, and she's got an individual medal, I believe, from New York in 2003. So I know, like I said, they've got a, a good experienced team. And the anchor of the team is yes. oh. Keeps rolling nexes and ten. She's solid. I think, don't think she's missed it all yet. She has been outstanding so far today. Pascal Lebec. We'll go back and look at the scores thus far. But Pascal Lebec with four bullseyes. You are correct, sir. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that opens the door a lot. So now Andrea Gales really needs to come up with a big shot. Yeah, they need to pick up. A little bit to help out for uh, that seven to start off. Nine. Nine for Andrea Gales. Not the ten she was hoping for, but. Yeah, nines don't feel as good when the other team's shooting tens. So again, Ricky Bingham put in the position of having to come up with a pick-me-up shot for her team. Pick up her teammates instead, it's an eight. And so after three ends for Great Britain, 159 points. And France really with a chance to pull away here in the third end, which you've, you've always called as the most critical one. Yeah, it is, because it, it, like I said, it either opens your door or it's going into the last end. You know, and they start off with a 10 when they hit a 7, and it just strikes that lead. And, and to me, it's like I said, it's kind of a moving in. You know, like, like moving day in golf, golf on Saturday. Right. Yeah, you get that, it's kind of the critical end. You can either help yourself or really hurt yourself. Dormon shot, perhaps starting to close the door on Great Britain. Right. on oh, keeps it open just a little bit with that 8. Yeah. But it's still going to be a lead for France. Assuming, of course, Pascal Lebec hits the target. Yeah, which this weekend has been a little <laughs> bit of a challenge, but she hasn't even missed a 10 yet, so then she continues it. She is on a roll right now. Pascal Lebec just cannot seem to miss. And she's pumped up, she's having fun, and you can see the difference in the mental mindset right now. You talked about this being a mental game. They're having fun right now. Yeah, the two teams are totally, totally different. they barely seeing a smile on the Great Britain team, and. France is, I mean, it helps when you got a nine point lead, but <laughs> it seemed to be that from the get go. So 167 for France, 159 for Great Britain, at least unofficially, those are the scores right now. So after 18 arrows, France flying high right now here on Pellet Beach as we get set for the final six arrows. And right now the coach doesn't have to do a whole lot of coaching, does he? No. Uh, just stand back there and support them and tell them what they, you know, I mean, I always believe in this sport, when you get up to this level, that coach doesn't need to do much but stand there. I mean, it's a pretty simple job. It's a good gig. It is a good gig. Come to Bellic Beach, enjoy the sunshine, the sea, good food, great golf here. Amazing oh, yeah. golf courses all over this area. Yeah, a couple of the guys on the team yesterday went and hit 18 holes. They were talking about what a beautifully manicured course it was, and I guess Tiger played on it a year ago. And, so and it's a, from what I hear, Tiger's coming back later yeah. this month. Oh. El Tigre yeah. may, be, may be here on Bellic Beach. But right now, it's the best in the sport of archery on the beach, and Danielle Brown. They're going to need a good start here to, to at least add a little pressure onto uh, the French, but it could be tough with that nine point lead. And Danielle with a nine. Danielle qualified for the Commonwealth Games in New Delhi in 2010, becoming the first Paralympian to represent England in an able bodied event at those games. Yeah, and like I said, I think the British team may be a little nice. more tight because, like you said, they never won a team medal. And knowing that in the back of your head always adds pressure. You know, I mean, which is the last thing you want to do. Yeah, I mean, we've been talking all week about how you know how long it's been since the U.S. recruit men had won a medal or anything in this, and so you, you know it as much as you don't want to. You know it. You know when history's coming or what you're doing. <laughs> Sensational <laughs> shot right there. And so I'm sure that's been on the back of their minds and, and the pressure's added. To be honest with you, Ricky Bingham has shot as well as anybody on this 
team from Great Britain this morning. Yeah. For a kind of a new one on the scene and not, mm -hmm. you know, she's done a lot and had a, a kid a year or two ago. And I you know she was telling me how hard it is to be away from him. And so <laughs> I understand that all too well. I had this. Gain another, another 10 points. Uh, gain another point because they start off with a nine. So. And the confidence just builds for France right now. Yeah, you, I mean, you're looking at Pascal Zero may not even matter, you know. You, you could end up with a tie at worst if Sandrine's yeah. an eight, but you're really not. Almost that sometimes your thoughts are, I just want to get it in the bail. Well, know, let's make sure it's down there and scored and we have the chance to win. When it's just three or better to win it, I think uh, – I'm putting my money on Pascal right. Lebec. The finish is it. She's still clean. She was perfect throughout the entire match, at least thus far. And France goes back ahead by eight. 195, 187, final three arrows. Danielle Brown got her law degree, owns her own business, does a lot of motivational speaking, talks about disability awareness and training. Her final shot. In the center ring. And you can see her elbow shaking a little bit there. And Danielle is trying good to job. keep it together, and she does. Great. Another 10. Oh. 30 seconds. Makes an excellent shot, even, even as nervous as you are. I've seen my arm shake and just execution, and it still go good. So. so Ricky Bingham with the final shot for Great Britain. Here on this glorious Tennis. morning on the beach, Nine. and it's 10-10-10. In finish. fact, four tens to finish off yeah. in the final end. Yeah, we'll put a little pressure on, but I think with the nine point lead you walked in with, you're really not sweating it too much. So, Dodemont, a little low. Would like to have that one back, I'm sure. So, Van Dianon lines it up. Draws it back, releases, and that's a six. Oh. So the plot doth thicken. Take nothing for granted. Just like we said, you never know. You got to give yourself that shot, and that definitely gives you about an eight point. She needs that. Yes. Pascal Lebec finishes clean. She shot awesome. She puts it away. Pascal Lebec. And time for a group hug. Yeah. Sensational shooting by Pascal, who has just been outstanding this year. Pascal Lebec, eighth in the world. And as we said earlier, won a mixed team gold medal at the World Cup final in Paris two weeks ago on this very day, two weeks ago. Great effort by Great Britain, though, especially in that final end. They, they kept battling to the very end. Yeah, to roll out four tens at the end just to put the pressure on to give him the shot. And then Sandrine to open the door a little bit. I mean, you got to think, wow, maybe I got a chance here because you never, you never know. I laughed at uh, our eliminations the first day break, walked off the line and he was down. All the guy had to do was hit the target to win, and the guy missed for Braden to advance in the first round. And he's like, man, I feel so lucky. Like, you do. So yeah. I never know. What's going on. Sometimes the gods smile on you, and sometimes they don't. Yeah. But Great Britain falls by two as the French win it, 219 to 217, to take the women's team bronze medal here at the 2013 World Championship of Archery here on Bellic Beach in Antalya, Turkey. Just outside Antalya, I should say we're about 20 miles up the beach from where we normally shoot the second stage of the World Cup circuit on Coney Alti Beach. Yeah, and it's a it's a little different winds here. Uh, like I said, most part we've looked this morning, have gone out towards the sea. Where on the other side, usually we're getting it coming in and.